right. <laughs> We've come today to Biddle Grange Country Park. It looks bloody well. It's a massive place, but uh, there's some horses over there. I've got Les Remy all the deny he's here. I'm not here. No, he's not here. <laughs> Big shout out to Kim, <coughs> Kim Taylor from work. Annie, hope you're having a good day, Annie. I'm sure you're not, but never <laughs> um, The greatest shunter in the world, Big Al. He's the main man. Right, we're going to start walking now because we've got a hell of a way to go. So see you all later. Right, this little bridge. Now, oh, there was two choices of which path to take. There's this one, Les is going down now. Or there's this one we just went up. This one, we should have realised there's nobody else going that way. And it just climbs up and up and up and up and up until it almost comes to a dead end because the uh, growth is that thick. So we've come right the way back down again and we'll carry on up the proper path. Excited but knackered. See you in a bit. A little bit further on our journey. Just had to stop to have a look at this tree and the roots. On this big bank. It's, oh, look at them roots. That looks, looks awesome but scary. Tell you what, it's a bloody lovely place to be this. We haven't got into the thick of it yet. Well, that path me and Les went up before. Not only was it treacherous, but my God, it was so steep. Just got my breath, breath back now. Les is streaming ahead because he's extremely fit. He walks everywhere. This guy can walk from Macclesfield to Marple along the canal. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right, catch you later. Still down by the lake. You can actually see the fish floating around well near the top of the water. I don't know whether you can actually see them, I'm zooming in. Quite a few in there. It's like just basking in the heat by the looks of it. So there's a cattle out over there. It's not that hot, says Les. <laughs> it's, it is bloody warm, come on man. Wide angle, here we go. In some quiet places, but this place is, there's not a sound. Apart from pigeons and other little bits of wildlife we've got here. There's a few good spots around here for the drone to get up, so. I think I'll be flying shortly. There's nobody around. There's another clearing over there. I'm just trying to try and get to that. That might be where the cave is. I'm dying to see this cave. Little sign over here. More fish in there, more fish floating on the top of the water. tench that's what makes me want to start fishing again places like this oh a sign there's this cave it tells you about here nothing else yeah, i've seen the boat house that's over there right let's, let's carry on exploring getting much further into it now there's lots and lots these little bridges take you across the tiny the babbling brook basically there's quite a few different trails and we're unsure which one to take another little bridge this looks like it's the most well trodden the one we went up certainly wasn't well trodden 
Here comes Les, so let's carry on and see where we get to. We're out of the wilderness. Here comes Les. This looks like a nice area to get the drone out. So I'm going to get the drone out. Hey, mate, have you seen Les? I haven't seen Les. Oh, bloody hell. Les has gone on walkabout again. I don't know, you show him the wilderness and he's off. He's off and away, he's probably catching bugs and things to eat as we speak. Nice little gate. And here we are back in, into the shade. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm trying to find this bloody cave. I'm sure we can find it. What's this? Ooh, is this a little place where you can get refreshments? Or is it just someone's house? Anyway, see you all in a bit. 